seconds you're about to see. A video he says he provided to LCSO and the state attorney's office. I go to grab his hand. He's facing me. I'm probably closer than you, are, you and I are right now. I mean, as close as you can get to where I can reach out and actually touch you. He yanks away. Now, this all happened <clears throat> because he was cussing out the cops, yelling at them and stuff. Houston V. Hill said that he can say whatever he wants to the cops. They can't attack him for that, but they did. This sergeant did. Way, I don't know if when he turns if he's going to swing at me or not. I punch him before he can do that. Meyer then grabs Samick and takes him to the ground. It wasn't a clean takedown because he's resisting me. So I sort of stumble, I take him down, and I fall basically on top of him. What you can't see in Meyer's zoomed-in recording is deputies Richie and Davidson standing feet away, watching. The guy hurt his feelings. So investigators, he was, quote, evaluating where he could be best used to assist. Davidson says he, quote, did not see how it would make a positive effect. Do you think you did anything wrong? I could have... Sounds like those cops didn't want to get involved with that sergeant assaulting that guy. They wanted to stay out of it. Acted a little quicker in helping Sergeant Meyer detain him. I could not have prevented any injury because I never explicitly watched any injury causing behavior. So I'm wrestling with this guy and I'm giving him orders to give me his hands. And I give him multiple strikes. I give him probably three strikes. He beat his he ass. He doesn't stop. Still trying to throw me off of him. So I continue. I give him a couple more. Two or three. Stop again. Give him another opportunity. Give me your hands. Nope. Gave him a couple more. The other guys in this quick ordeal come up behind and help me dig his hands out. We put him in the car. That was the last time that we saw him. Or last time that I saw him. I found Samick at the gas station. He didn't want to be interviewed on camera, but talked to me about what happened. I showed him the surveillance video. Samick argues it's proof he didn't resist and claims at least another one of Meyer's punches you see him throw landed on his face. LCSO Defensive Tactics Coordinator Captain Scott Griffith did a number on his face, didn't that Sergeant? And other cops just stood there and watched. Deemed the level of force used by Meyer in the video, quote, appeared to be in accordance with LCSO policy and procedures. However, had Davidson and Ritchie intervened, it, quote, could have potentially prevented further injuring Mr. Samick. Samick also tells me and LCSO investigators the use of force didn't stop there, claiming he was struck by four deputies while handcuffed. There was not a strike, not one, where he was handcuffed and secured. But Meyer and Davidson can't prove that with the video Meyer chose to record on his personal cell phone. The IA summary shows that Samick was handcuffed at 2 a.m., but he wasn't removed from the gas station and taken to the hospital until 3 a.m. So there is one hour that's unaccounted for, and the gas station video is long gone. So the potentially incriminating or exonerating evidence is gone for good. It's better than nothing, because if we didn't have that video, They'd be going off of strictly his word. The amount of time that is... They deleted that video on purpose. They only showed what they wanted to. Yeah, tampering with evidence sounds like to me. Unaccounted for is simply us doing paperwork. An action Davidson admits he can't prove. He also challenges whether Samick was really hurt during his arrest. I didn't recall seeing any medical expert weigh in on the stage of those fractures and in what stage of healing. You mentioned like his level of healing. Are you saying it could have happened before you guys had encountered him? Several transients in the area that know him have reported to us on more than one occasion. He is often getting in fights. You saw him for 10 minutes before that happened. You guys kept going back and forth trying to de-escalate. Did he look like he had injuries to his face when that was happening? No. But I can't see, I don't have an extra machine. I don't, I can't see inside his face. The IA summary does not offer a conclusive looks like injuries. of Samick's injuries, which include fractures to his jaw and right orbital area. So I don't know, you know, I can't testify as to what maybe happened in the car. You know, if he was banging his head in the car at some point. 
Despite the findings and unanswered questions in the IA summary, Meyer... There's a camera in that car, and I bet they wear body cameras, but you won't see any of that. And Davidson don't believe they should have been fired. And it was always projected at the sheriff's office that if you get into something and you get called into IA or you get called in by a supervisor, and if you tell them the truth, and you tell them this is why, that they will take care of you. I asked three independent law enforcement experts to review the information and evidence we've been able to collect. Dave Benson, retired as Director of Law Enforcement Training for the United States State Department in Washington, D.C. Jim Durain is a retired FBI Supervisory Special Agent, and Jeff Myers is the former Fort Myers Police Deputy Chief. They all believe Marcino's decision to fire the deputies was reasonable. And, and, and they may not like it, but sometimes the truth hurts. You can't behave this way and expect that everything's going to be just fine. You have a mugshot. Yeah, he hit that guy for no reason. He just punched him because the guy was cussing his ass out. It looks like someone's been pummeled. And there's no cause, there's no explanation for how that got there. There are many different techniques to use. They don't all involve force. The guy's hands were down the whole time. He did not make a threatening gesture. I question why the other officer did not get involved stood by um, it, it, it it opens up a lot of questions of what actually uh, went on that evening coming up tomorrow on wink news the three law enforcement experts discuss what they say was the biggest mistake made during the use of force arrest